Good morning, student. Welcome to English Conversation Class. I hope everyone is okay. Today, we are going to talk about auxiliary verb has and have. So, these are our examples. Has is applicable for subject pronoun he, she, and it. For example, he has, she has, it has. And have is applicable for I, you, we, and they. Example, I have, you have, we have. And they have. Now let us try to answer this one. She blank long hair. So she has long hair. The next one. Peter Pan has fairy dust. Next. Bugs Bunny has a carrot. And the third one or the fourth one. They have purple lollipops. And what do you think the answer for the fifth one? The clown, of course, has funny shoes. And then the last one, Superman. So what will be the answer? Has or have? Of course, has. Superpowers. So very good, student. Next, we are going to listen to the next video. So now we are here, we are going to talk about has and have. So these two, they are actually the same. So has and have means to say what you've got. And it was used in a different ways and a different rules. So has used in three subjects. Pronoun he she and then it so when we are going to talk about he we talk about boy right and we are going to talk about she we talk about the girl and if it it we talk about things or animal okay thing or animal so this one have we also have have so we use have for four types of pronoun we have the i which is mean yourself we have the you which is mean other people or other person and we, it means to say you together with the other people. And then they, means to say other people. Many. Okay. So this is our set on how we are going to use it. So now we are here in our sentence using has. So we have he as our subject pronoun. So for example, we are going to make a sentence. He has... A dog. He has a dog. It means to say a uh, only one one dog. Okay. So now we have she. She has birds. She has birds. So I didn't use the a, uh, it's because birds. So we have s, it means to say it's many. So now we have the he, she, and then now the it. So I use dog. So dog. Has. Four. legs dog has four legs so again i didn't use the a uh, because a uh, is the symbol of only one so this one we have legs 
and we have number four so it means to say it's many okay okay now let's go to what you don't have or what you didn't got so we have has so we are going to use the word don't he doesn't have a pet so when we are going to talk about what you don't have we use the word have not has this one is x if we use this word every time we use this we use the helping verb have for example she doesn't have birds so it's the same i use that one so now let's go to uh, how to use this helping verb have okay so i'm going to give you another example for the have you have it for i u e day i u v day they have four snakes okay so we use the word have because of that one but if we are going to use the word don't if we will apply it as our negative sentence we still use the word have they don't have they don't have four snakes sorry for my handwriting so it's still the same use the word have I have, you have, we have, they have. I don't have, you don't have, we don't have, they don't have. Except if you are going to use the has, when there is the word doesn't, it change. Okay? it change for have and has only the has that has changed has have so this one use he she it for negative we use doesn't this one we have i you we and then they we use the word don't i don't have you don't have we don't have they don't have i have you have we have they have for has he doesn't have she doesn't have it doesn't have but for positive he has 
she has, it has. So, that's all for today. Thank you. It is great to have a basic understanding about how to use the has and have. So now, let us answer this one. So the first half is number one. The second girl is a, we're wearing purple shirts, number two. And then two um, children is number three. So for example, number one, he blank a notebook. So what is your answer? Can you please read it? Okay, that's correct. He has a notebook. How about number two? She blank scissors. So what is your answer? That's correct. She has scissors. How about number three? They blank a ruler. They have a ruler. That's correct. So fourth one. He blank a pen. And that is correct. You are correct again. He has a pen. So, the fifth one, she blank a backpack. She has a backpack. Okay, the next one, they blank a glue stick. They have a glue stick. That's correct. Next, he blank a paper clip. That's correct. He has a paper clip. Okay, the next one, she blank a clipboard. Okay, correct again. She has a clipboard. Okay, next with the subject pronoun they. They blank a pencil. That's great. They have a pencil. So okay, next one, we are going to talk about story. Please listen to our story for today. Number one, where is my mouse? Where is my mouse? Number two, the cupboard is open. The cupboard is open. It climbs into the cupboard. Number three, it climbs into the cupboard. Number four, there is some cheese. Number four, there is some cheese. Number five, father opens the cupboard. Father opens the cupboard. The last one, he runs away. He runs away. That's all for today, student. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.